All right, hello everybody and welcome to our Friday update on this uh, April 24th. We're glad that you've uh, tuned in today so that we could update you on some good things going on. Uh, of course, uh, we're really emphasizing uh, two, two aspects as a church, come together and reach out. And uh, so thank you for being a part of both of those. And I'm glad that you could join us today. Uh, today's a big day uh, because tonight is our Secret Church simulcast. And uh, I want to encourage you, take a look at that. You can go to our website and just see what that's about. But the theme for the teaching tonight is God, government, and the gospel. And uh, so I know that you're going to really enjoy uh, this. And so you can sign up on our website. It starts at 6 o'clock. Now, you might want to take a nap because it goes to midnight, okay? 6 to midnight. But this is some of the best teaching uh, that there is out there. And uh, this happens only once a year. And our church has been involved in this now for several years, offering this normally here in the building. But uh, we've, it's now available so you can do it on, at home on your own. And so you can also download the PDF of the notes so that you can follow along as you're watching tonight and get ready because, um, boy, they, 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 it goes fast, okay? They're teaching a lot of content, a lot of material. I know six hours sounds like a long time, but they're putting in what seems like almost a whole semester worth of material into one night. It's a lot of stuff. We're going to learn a lot tonight and so encourage you. If you're able this evening, it would be totally worth your time. Uh, to learn uh, what's going on tonight with our Secret, simul Secret Church simulcast. Well, this Sunday, uh, we're going to be gathering back together, of course, not in person, uh, but uh, online uh, for our service as we study Psalm 23, The Lord is My Shepherd. And this Sunday, uh, we're going to look at verse number two, which says, He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. And we're going to just study the implications of what David is talking about in this psalm. And uh, I know personally, I've really enjoyed uh, tearing apart Psalm 23. And so I hope you'll be able to join us on that. Now, this Sunday, you're going to receive an email uh, from uh, a, a, a place called Right Now Media. And this is a resources platform that our church has now subscribed to. And, uh, and we're making this available to everyone in the church. It's a whole library of resources uh, from Bible studies of all sorts to children's studies, things for youth and families and adults and children and uh, uh, parenting. And it's a whole library of studies and resources that are available. And uh, our growth group study right now is coming from Right Now Media, the one we're doing in our growth groups uh, from Psalm 21, which is a companion to my message series on Sunday mornings. Uh, but it, it's, it's a wealth of information for you and your family and for our small groups and for our church. And so when you receive this uh, invitation for Right Now Media, uh, I would encourage you to click that and then that just you, you're basically just going to put in your own code and uh, you'll be able to access this 24-7. And so it's free. There's no cost to you. I th take a look at it. I'm encouraged to, uh, I would be interested to hear uh, how you would benefit from this. And so take a look at the email that we send you this Sunday, Right Now Media, and uh, take a look at what is available there for you, again, 24-7. And we're excited to be able to offer this to you uh, as part of our church family. Now, reaching out, next Wednesday night, we're going to be offering our first uh, free hot drive-up meal to the community. And so um, I want to encourage you to invite others to come, people in the community, especially this is an outreach of our church. And so uh, we're really encouraging, uh, trying to get the word out that people of our community coming to our facility. Nobody's going to get out of their car and we're going to use all the protocols that are necessary with masks, etc. Uh, and so we'll just be giving people the meals. Uh, it's Cavatelli and our chef, Ryan Pinnico, uh, is preparing that along with a few other uh, volunteers and uh, so we're ready to be able to do that and we want to give every family a corona uh, gift bag uh, this is a tough time for a lot of people and so we're putting together gift bags and so if you can make some sort of donation to our gift bags what's been given so far are gift cards and hand sanitizer and uh snacks of all different kinds. Uh, we've been uh, children's games and toys that they can play outside. Just anything that would be an encouragement uh, to anybody that comes here. 
and uh, grabs our meal and gets this gift bag. And so we have Christian movies we're putting in there. And, and, and so if you have access to uh, things or you just like to go shopping, or some of our people have just gone shopping and uh, picked out things that they would like to give and drop them off. And so I would encourage you to do that. Uh, but uh, we're going to be making 200 gift bags. So we're going to need a lot. And uh, if you can get your stuff here by Monday, whatever you're going to bring and donate to be a blessing to our community, if you could get it here by next Monday, uh, we'll be putting the bags together uh, next Tuesday and Wednesday. And thank you so much for helping our church be a blessing to our community. And that's what this is for. This is for the community. And so thank you for helping our church be a blessing to the community by offering this free hot meal and the gift bag that we're going to give to every family as they come through. Now, I know some of you came through the parking lot on Wednesday night uh, to uh, get a taco or something from the big red food truck. And uh, I talked to the owner this week since then. And uh, over 550 vehicles came through here between 4.30 and 8 o'clock, or a little after 8 actually, on Wednesday night. And so people have been asking me, is the big red food truck coming back? And here you go, it is. They're coming back Saturday, May 9th. Write that on your calendar, Saturday, May 9th, and they're going to be here uh, for a much longer period, from 11 in the morning until 8 o'clock at night. So that covers the lunch hour and the dinner hour. And so uh, we're going we're gonna to work with the Big Red Food uh, Truck Company. Um, our church is going to provide volunteers for the parking lot. We're going to be doing something special for families as they come through. So this has become also an outreach for our church. And I'll tell you more about it next week. Uh, but we're excited to have the Big Red Food Truck coming back to our parking lot for the community and uh, our ability to partner with them. Uh, the owner of the truck is a strong Christian and uh, recognizes the opportunity for ministry that this provides. And so we're very grateful to be able to partner with the Big Red Food Truck. Again, Saturday, uh, May 9th is when they're coming. So I just want to encourage you before we wrap up here today, I know that uh, being home, uh, especially if uh, both husband and wife, if you're both home, uh, it, it uh, you know what, issues can come up, okay? Um, I've been talking to some of our folks and realized that, uh, you know what, there's a lot of people that are struggling maritally. And so um, if that's you, if you need someone to talk to, if you want someone to to bring some, some help alongside you, please give us a call. We would love to help you um, if you're struggling in any way for that matter, financially, um, any, any other issue that comes up, we're here. Uh, we want to be out of encouragement to you. And I want you to know that you've been an encouragement to us as a staff. Uh, we pray for the church every day. We pray for your requests by name and by request every day. And uh, so if you have prayer requests, please be sure that you contact us, send us an email, on the church website or uh, on our app or give us a call here. We're here every day, uh, Monday through Friday during business hours. And so let us know. We meet at 10 o'clock every day and we would love to pray for you. Well, I mentioned to some folks this week that uh, this week, uh, yesterday was my spiritual birthday. And I'm celebrating 47 years in the faith, praise God, and thanking Him for His goodness uh, in saving me, a lost sinner. And uh, my, uh, my life verse comes out of Psalm 19. And that's the verse that I wanted to uh, leave with you today in our Friday update. And it says, May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. And uh, today, let's, let's do that, okay? Uh, let's ask God to help us to make sure that what we're thinking about, what we're passionate about, what's in our heart, what's in our mind, and then what comes out of our mouth is pleasing to the Lord. And because He's our rock, He's our strength, He can help us do that. And of course, He is our Redeemer. We wouldn't be here without Him. So I hope you're praising God for Jesus Christ today. Let's bow together in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank You that You are our rock you are our Redeemer. And perhaps someone's watching this short update today. And God, they just need, they needed to hear that. They needed to be reminded that you're the rock. God, you're always, you're sufficient. You're always there for us. And of course, you are our Redeemer. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you, God, because you showed your love for us in sending Jesus to die on the cross. Father, thank you for being our rock and our Redeemer and help us today. 
Lord, help our minds to think about what are things that are pure. And as the Bible says, lovely and of good nature. And God, help us to think about you and then help our words to be, bring you glory as well. Father, thank you for this church. Thank you for the opportunities you've provided for us to come together and to reach out. Use us as a church to be a blessing and a witness to the gospel here in our area and beyond. And I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for watching today, and we're looking forward to seeing you on Wednesday. God bless you. Have a good weekend.